thank you, David. You have a terrific newspaper uh, that makes for great notes for my speech. Um, I, I offer myself as a case study of an American businessman who's been in Washington for about 35 years. I have a mixed background in politics and media and technology business. I was in the Reagan White House as his director of communications for five years. And I helped start USA Today in 1982. Uh, I, I, I'm going to say just two or three things because um, how does one begin as an American to invest in Mauritania? And I'll just give you a checklist. It begins with a terrific ambassador, Mr. Uh, Lehman Heisen, who's become my very good friend and a terrific personal champion for Mauritania in Washington. Um, he's worked hard, he's been transparent, he's He's delivered on everything he's ever promised. And that's very important. You have to start step by step by step. The opportunities are great, but you have to do it in steps. That's item one. Item two, I approach um, Mauritania as any businessman. I have to do due diligence. If I'm going to bring investors, I have to understand the opportunities and the process for doing business in Mauritania. Two years ago, when I started this process, it was not easy. It's becoming easier with the publication of your um, special edition, with the IMF and the World Bank producing data, and it's, um, it's becoming easier to understand the opportunities, and I, ahead of the wind, what a great phrase. That's exactly what's going on in Mauritania now. We are ahead of the wind. Part of the due diligence in my political and communications background has to include a stable and secure democracy. It has to include a free press. And the third thing which I have seen in my seven visits in the last two years is President Aziz is translating the new wealth of Mauritania into infrastructure and programs to help the people of Mauritania at every level. Um, it should be no surprise that uh, the last <coughs> parliamentary elections have reflected on the President's popularity. It's a referendum on the good things he is doing. And when I looked at uh, the 72 parties that are registered in Mauritania in a robust political process, it just warms my heart. So my approach to doing due diligence was to look everywhere, talk to the NGOs, talk to um, uh, the security uh, <coughs> forces here in the, uh, in the U.S. What do they know? What, 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 uh, what do the intelligence networks say? What's, what's the threat? What's the risk? Um, we, uh, we talked to media. We, uh, I have friends at AFP, and we got uh, down to street level and uh, talked to stringers. And we also, um, uh, through my other partner, Charbel Morbus, we um, even talked to the Lebanese grocers on the street in Rockshop doing business. And this resulted in my accepting an invitation to meet with President Aziz in the summer of 2012. And um, my, uh, my particular business is aviation infrastructure. And um, he invited me, uh, with the help of Ambassador Heisen, to establish a public-private partnership, which we have successfully done. We are bringing investors. Uh, to Mauritania focused initially on the aviation infrastructure sector because if um, uh, people can't go to Mauritania, they can't see the opportunities. So we are active in the uh, new international airport development. We are uh, going to support the new airline, uh, newly reconfigured airline. We're going to do pilot training. And in fact, this is um, perhaps the most amazing thing. We are going to start building aircraft in Mauritania next year. 
We are going to bring American componentry. We are going to train Mauritanian technicians who are very clever. And we are going to start assembling aircraft in Mauritania, first training aircraft for the military, but we also mean to build and sell aircraft into other parts of uh, Africa and the Arab world. The point here is if you can build aircraft in Mauritania, you can do light manufacturing, electronics, pharmaceuticals, you can do anything. Um, I, I, uh, I will stop there only to say that um, we are ahead of the wind. Uh, my investors are very excited. They are also patient. They understand that uh, this is a country that is really just coming into its own right now. I'm very excited to be part of this, and thank you for my very brief words on your excellent news. Thank you, Tim. That was very, very helpful comments and very uh, inspiring ones. We're just going to we're going to conclude uh, with uh, with with that. We're invited to please take copies of the report with you and take extra copies and give them to other um, people in your office and your institutions and uh, and who may be uh, interested. I want to thank again the uh, minister for his uh, organizing this, the, the the ambassador. And I wanted to say one thing to conclude that is that. It is our hope, inshallah, that, uh, that, uh, that the Mauritania report in the Financial Times becomes